Let's draw the graph for monopoly. This is our x-axis, which is the quantity. This is our y-axis, which is the price. So we know that for monopoly, our demand curve is downward sloped. So we'll draw here a downward slope demand curve. Our marginal revenue curve is downward sloped and it's below the demand curve. It's below the price. Therefore, our marginal revenue will be a downward sloped curve. It's below the demand curve. Then we'll draw here our average total cost, which is U-shaped. And then our marginal cost, which will intersect our average total cost at minimum. Then what will be our profit maximizing condition? Profit maximizing condition is the same for all four types of market structure, which is marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So if we look here, our marginal revenue is a blue curve, will intersect with the marginal cost, the green curve at this point. Therefore, from here, we will get our Q star, which is our profit maximizing quantity. Then I will go up, then I intersect with the demand curve, and then I move horizontally. This will give me the price. I'd like to know what will be my profit. Therefore, I will go up till I intersect with average total cost, and then I will go horizontally, and this will be my average total cost. As you see here from the graph, our price is bigger than average total cost. Consequently, our profit will be bigger than zero because I know that my profit is equal to quantity multiplied by open bracket price minus average total cost close bracket. Therefore, we create economic profit, which is also called supernormal profit or abnormal profit. Does this mean that monopoly always create super normal profit? No, sometimes they create a loss. Let's look at the graph. This is our x-axis, which is the quantity, our y-axis, which is the price, our downward demand curve, and then our downward sloped marginal revenue. And then this is our average total cost. As you see that in this example, our average total cost is above our demand curve. Then we'll draw our marginal cost here, which will intersect average total cost at minimum. Then what's our profit maximizing condition? Marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. So the point of intersection between our marginal revenue and marginal cost here, it will give me Q star. I will go up till I intersect with the demand curve to get my price. And then I will go up till I intersect with my, with my average total cost and I will move horizontally to get my average total cost here. As you see that price is below average total cost. Consequently, the profit is below than zero. This means that we make a loss. Therefore, this will be our loss. So why monopolies will make a loss if monopoly is considered the only producer? The simple answer is sometimes there is weak demand or there is no demand. For example, any one of you can go and publish a book. But this book is not of interest to many people. So discover that the cost of producing a book is much bigger than the revenue you generate from this book. Therefore, also you have a monopoly because it's your intellectual copyright but at the end, not many people are buying your book. Therefore, although it's a monopoly, but you make a loss.